Hi, Emma. Howdy. I'm good. How are you? Uh, pretty good. How are you? Right on. I am uh, uh, Mia from the hit show TLC, Out of the Box. Oh, cool. Yeah. So what are we going to talk about today? Tattooing and the business behind tattooing. Okay. Are you able to talk and tattoo at the same time or oh, yeah. should you take a break? Partially. Partially? All right. Well, let's get this underway and then I will, I'll get out of your hair. So... Why did you want to become a tattoo artist? Um, well, I actually quite like tattooing, and, and I also really like drawing, so it just kind of fits. Right on. And, uh, what really makes you happy about tattooing? Um, the, I get to see people have my art on their body. Oh, yeah, that's one good thing. Yeah. Hopefully it's good art, and they're happy with it, right? Oh, yeah. As you right can see. On. Awesome. So, what were some of the results from your, uh, career interest and aptitude questionnaire? Um, that I'm pretty good with people, and I'm quite creative. Cool. By the looks of it, yeah, I can see that you are. Yeah. And, uh, what is it like to work in this field? Uh, quite peaceful. Uh, you get to talk to people, you get to learn new stuff, see people's interests of what they want under the body. Okay, and what kind of, what kind of, uh, creations have you been asked for before? Um, a lot of skulls, that's for sure. Oh, really, eh? Oh, yeah, and flowers, and roses. Huh. And eagles. And eagles. It's crazy. Are they ever all together or? Oh yeah. Oh really, eh? Oh yeah. Okay. Do you ever do portraits or is it just one style that you like to do? One style because doing realistic stuff for people-wise is quite hard. So. Okay. But yeah. you gotta learn stuff too. Yeah. Right on. So let's get down to the nitty gritty. It's all about the money, right? Oh, yeah. Well, and besides showing off your artwork. Oh, yeah. So what's the average tattoo artist make in Canada? Um, when you first start tattooing, you're getting about $17 an hour. Okay. But later on in life, you get to earn about $25 an hour. Okay, so, so that's not too bad. Yeah. Right Unless on. you run your own business, then you're getting way more because you can rent out to people. Okay, so do you rent out a chair and then yeah. they bring in their own clientele and whatnot? Oh, yeah. Okay, that's not too bad. What kind of education did you have to have to become a tattoo artist? Um, none of them. You just need skills. Okay. What kind of skills? Uh, art skills, that's for sure. Yep. Uh, people skills, creativity. Sweet. Yeah. And what's your, uh, job outlook for this career? Are you gonna stick with it? Um, probably for a couple of years I'll stick with it. But then if, cause, well, inflation is happening. Yeah. Uh, so if I could maybe get two jobs or get a better job. Okay. Would you ever open up your own shop one day? Oh, yeah. Yeah? Would that help with the inflation? Heck yeah. Okay. Okay. And uh, what post-secondary uh, pathway will lead you to this career? Uh, not much of a pathway, but it's there. Okay. Okay. And do you have any... Uh, Let's see, any advice on how to become a tattoo artist? Um, like, since... Any steps? Uh, yeah. So since, because you don't really need much of an education, Yeah. I do recommend taking quite a bit of art classes. Okay. So you're able to draw and stuff. Hmm. You, like, get to know what the person wants. Okay. And, uh, how do you, do you just jump right into it and start doing it, or do you need to do an apprenticeship? Oh, yeah, I do apprenticeship. Okay. If you're, if you're one of the people that are renting out a booth, you show people your portfolio, your profile, and, uh, what you've done in the past. Okay. And that could help you, eh? Oh, yeah. Hmm. Right on. And how, what do you, where do you go from there? Uh, tattooing, that's where. Huh. Yeah, it's a, it's a pretty good job if you're really into it and stuff. Is it expensive to get started in? A little bit, but when you when you buy the stuff, you're you're kind of set. You just gotta keep it clean. Okay, so you have to learn like definitely health and safety is a huge huge factor, right? Oh yeah, you gotta like make sure you got all the warrants and stuff. But in Canada, you don't need any licenses. Just that health and safety. Oh, yeah. Health and safety is a big thing in the tattooing business. Okay. So you probably have to have a certificate where the health department comes in and... Oh, yeah. You hmm. Make sure you have that in your window. Okay. Right on. And, uh, how does this connect to all your interests and passions? Um, well, I always liked drawing as a kid. Okay. So, 
just kind of just works out. I get to draw on people's bodies. Now, do you just draw by looking at something, or can you actually create your own? Oh, I can create my own and everything. Okay. But you always got, like, if you're creating your own thing, yeah, you got to sketch it out and all that, make sure the client also likes it. And But if you're doing something from, like, something they are showing you, once again, you got to make sure that you're doing it right. Okay. Right on. And, uh, I don't know what else. Yeah. Probably about it. It's Is that pretty, about it? Yeah, it's a pretty good business. Okay, so I should probably just let you let you finish up your work here. And if you're interested in a tattoo, come on down to Tiny Tot Tattooing and see Emma. Yeah. Alrighty, and this is it for Out of the Box on TLC.